Welcome to OSM, Operation Safe Mode, Praying for a Cure. Peace be with you. Today, we bring you the second question from our OSM mailbag. It's a part of the ongoing quiz to see how well you know your Catholic faith. The question today is, who in the life of Jesus was Peter, Paul, and Mary? We're going to give you several opportunities to choose the correct answer. So here are your options. Once again, the question is, who was Peter, Paul, and Mary in the life of Jesus? A, was it Peter, Paul, and Mary? Was Jesus' favorite American folk group formed in New York City in 1961? B, they were those who Jesus knew first as Simon, Saul, and Mom. C. Peter, Paul, and Mary followed Jesus faithfully through his three years of ministry. I know this is a lot more complicated than last time because there's a couple more questions and choices for you. D. Peter, Paul, and Mary are the pillars of the church founded by Jesus. And finally, the choice E. Mary was the mother of Jesus, Peter became the first Pope, and Paul was the Apostle to the Gentiles. Now your answer might seem quite easy, but not this time. You also perhaps maybe might have to choose F, B and C, or G, B, D, and E. So we're going to give you a few moments to mull this over and make your answer and do so wisely, for this is a very important question. Who was Peter, Paul, and Mary to Jesus in his life? I see some of you have completed your quiz question. And for those of you who have not, please put your pencils down. Let's review and see how you did. If you chose A, Peter, Paul, and Mary was Jesus' favorite American folk group formed in New York City in 1961, well, that would have been just silly. Now, if you know anything about Peter, Paul, and Mary, good music, but I'm sure it wasn't Jesus' favorite band from the 60s. If you chose C, Peter, Paul, and Mary followed Jesus faithfully through his three-year ministry. That was kind of a trick question. Because certainly Peter and Mary, the mother of God, were with Jesus from the beginning. But Paul did not come until after Jesus' resurrection. So if you chose A or C, and of course if you chose F, which is B and C, then I'm sorry you have the incorrect answer. So let us look at the real answer. If you chose G, B, D, and E, then you chose absolutely correct. For these three things, mark who Peter, Paul, and Mary were to Jesus. So let us review. The first correct answer was B. Those who were known to Jesus first as Simon, Saul, and mom. Simon becomes Peter when he makes that proclamation of faith and answers Jesus' question, who do you say that I am? He says, you are the son of the living God. And Jesus said to him, Simon, you now will be Peter, which means rock. And on that rock, I will create my first church. So, if he makes Peter the rock and foundation of the church, he gives him the keys to the kingdom of God, then certainly when we look at our answer in E, then Peter was also truly the first pope. When Jesus first called upon Paul, his name was Saul. And we know the story that Saul was a persecutor of the early church, of the Christians. In fact, he was present when Stephen, the first martyr of the church, was stoned to death. 
and he was on his way to Damascus to persecute the church there when he was literally knocked from his horse when the sky had opened and heard an incredible voice speak Saul Saul why are you persecuting me now Saul of course didn't know the voice so he said please Lord tell me who you are that I am persecuting and Jesus said it is Jesus that you are persecuting me by persecuting my church and of course it's a beautiful story where Saul now will take on the name Paul as he recovers from his blindness physical blindness as well as the blindness of who Jesus was at that time he would become a great apostle not one that had followed Jesus from the beginning but yet one who would follow him in and through his death so we look again to answer E and we see that Paul was the apostle who went to the Gentiles. What does that mean? Well, Peter took care of the people of Israel. They were the first ones to receive the message of Jesus. But Paul saw a need to go to the Gentiles, those who were separated from the promise of Jesus' coming, to be a part of the church that was growing for Jesus came for all of us. When we look at the correct answer of Peter, Paul, and Mary are the pillars of the church founded by Jesus, that is a correct answer because, as I said, Peter became the rock and the first pope. Paul became the missionary. And the work of the church is so important to continue to reach out to souls who do not know Christ. And Mary, of course, is one of the pillars. For Mary stood at the foot of the cross and Jesus said to John, This is your mother. And he said to Mary, this is your son. So today's correct answer is G, B, D, and E. I hope you learned something from this lesson. It's a very important lesson since we had just celebrated yesterday the feast of Saints Peter and Paul. They are a great combination, the opposites, but yet one in Christ themselves. They're like the two sides of the same coin and they complement each other like peanut butter and jelly, like ice cream and cake, like chocolate, cookies, and milk. So until the next time, please continue to do your studying. And as I said before, that was question two. We will have a comprehensive exam after safe mode is over. So remember that in times like these, saints like Peter and Paul were forged. So let us forge forward and become saints as we stay safe in the Lord.